everybody. So I finally got my um, Andrea model Dark Nova Kurt Newman model complete. I kind of should have got this probably done a little bit sooner, but um, I kept doing more and more things and never really had to kind of stop myself here. But uh, you know, sometimes that's how it goes. You know, you start a project and you just keep doing more and more to it, and then it keeps saving more and more of your time. So uh, I, I I know it doesn't really look like it's in focus from what I can see, so hopefully it's translating better in video. Uh, I tried some different backgrounds and different things, but this is about the best I could get um, look-wise for the video. Uh, I you know, even have done this trick here where you kind of put your hand in the front and hope for the best, but uh, it's... I don't know, I think it's maybe the metals on the uh, miniature that I used, uh, since I used the uh, Vallejo liquid, uh, liquid gold, uh, liquid metal paints, the alcohol based, excuse me, paints on this miniature, so they kind of pop, plus I put a gloss coat on them, because um, I really... Uh, I like putting a gloss coat over my metals so that they uh, look more like a metal. You know, they have that shine to them like they should. Uh, I also like putting uh, satin varnishes on my skin and fabrics because it gives it the right kind of sheen. So I'm going to uh, pull off this head here um, since he has two heads that you can put on him. And uh, let me do this here. Of course, that's not metal. Doesn't help any. Uh, let's do this. Uh, why don't you want to stay on there? I guess that's not going to work, so I'll just have to do it by hand. Seems like the helmet head is a little bit too heavy for the mag to keep it in place. So I can't use the alligator clip that I'm using for the other head. And now I know I didn't do a really amazing good job on the uh, lenses here. Could have done uh, a much better job than what I did, but um, I wasn't too worried on them. And you're gonna see some purple down here underneath, and that was to give it an, uh, an OSL light, o OSL effect uh, on the miniature itself, since it has the, the purple lights on the chest. And this is my first attempt at uh, doing OSLs. Is it focusing and unfocusing? So bad right now. There we go. So that's why you're going to see that major color difference down at the bottom. Got to readjust my grip. Come on, camera. So that's his head. Just gonna put that down on the fabric. And let's go with his head head. I know that didn't sound, sound right, head head. And I did the OSL on his skin. And when I did it, I did not realize that the uh, neck went so far in, so really wasn't too much of a reason to have gone so far in. Now this is the light side of his face, uh, the side of his head that is receiving the most amount of light. I'm just going to swing him back around and I decided not to do the eyes. For some reason I, I've, I've tried doing eyes a million different times. I think it's just something I need to practice more on 
so it is clear coated and protected so I'm going to leave them as is for now and then when I get better with the eyes I'm going to come back in and, and give him some eyes but for right now he's just going to he's just going to go plain Jane he's going to have no eyeball bubbles well he's going to have eyeballs he's just not going to have any irises I guess that's the right word excuse me and this is the darker side of his head where you'll see less highlights and things come on camera don't be difficult there we go oh come on almost Really, bit when wanting to be a bit difficult. I think it's this doesn't matter too much, I guess. Really, and I got the highlights on the hair. This has really got some major glare kick in there. So that's that for the head. Let's move on to a little more interesting part, right? I'm gonna zoom in so it's a little bit better. I don't mind the cell phone. So here is the base and I kind of went to town on the lettering uh, this ring here is copper and I did some third degree on it as well you'll see it here and there's some spots I got some you know dried up slime or algae and some moist wet stuff as well on there as you'll probably be able to see I got uh, dirt and you know, obviously the silver is still there for the metal and I try to make it look you know uh, realistic where you know people be walking over it there obviously wouldn't be so much dirt and grime and like oil stains and stuff I figure you know it's on a spaceship uh, maybe like a, a cargo hatch or, or something mechanical bay and he's you know infiltrating in to kill the aliens or some you know virus or or whatever the uh, case might be and so you know he's storming in there and kicking ass and taking names let's go ahead we'll start here at the miniature himself uh, let's see Okay, just to manually adjust the camera down here with my hand. That's good enough. I don't think you really need the very bottom of this foot. I'm going to kind of give him a little bit of a spin here. And hopefully the uh, camera won't go too crazy with the focusing. I think the sale is I think I kind of went a little bit too far with it. Um, I don't quite think it has the look I was hoping for. I, th I think I might just went a little bit too overboard with it, unfortunately. Kind of show off the gun here. Decides it wants to focus. So on um, the black, instead of going gray or um, bluish gray for the black highlights, I actually went with a red, and I really don't know if it's going to show up quite so well on here. This part I think here will show up nicely if it will get into focus. Raw. Yeah, you kind of can see it there. Um, 
it's kind of like a grayish reddish color because right, I wanted I wanted to try to get a little bit more red on the model so for the cape uh, to help with the uh, green look barrel of the gun which is probably not going to want to focus because that seems to be my story of my life tonight there we go and uh, I use the sepia wash pretty much or uh, maybe liquid smoke on the metal to help give it a little bit more of that color and I use the a red gold um, for the for the darker shadows Let's go ahead and see if we can get a little bit better of a look on the OSL. Now I put the uh, scenic, scenic Hobbies water effects inside these little pockets that the uh, lights are in to kind of make it look more like uh, the lights are inset in the suit itself. And uh, so the shine is probably making it a little bit hard to see the final highlight that's inside each one of these little packets here and these uh, these squares here are really 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 small so it's kind of a little bit of a pain in the ass to get in there and put those highlights in but I tried my best uh, there was it was definitely a first time for me on object source lighting that's a pretty good angle there to kind of see that I put it in there. Uh, maybe I probably should have went with a uh, purple with a little white mixed in for just the dot in the very center. But to get to the very center would have been really hard because I used my smallest brush to get to find a highlight in there. Uh, I, when I'm saying these squares are small, I mean they are small. So kind of went with what I could. Uh, let's go ahead and finish this off with him with his head in uh, the minotaur. Uh, that's a little bit too much of a tilt. Uh, oh, there we go. Let's change his angle. See if it may focus better. Probably. Of course not, right? Tonight, the camera does not want to work for me. It says, no, no, sir. And autofocus is a fail, pretty much. Sorry about that, guys and ladies. But uh, maybe I can. Of course not. Oh, there it goes. But that's the uh, final look. Uh, please uh, rate, comment. You know, feedback is always appreciated. And uh, I'm more happy to talk to you guys again. Sorry it's been so long since I put out a, a uh, video. But hopefully the uh, wait was definitely worth seeing this model done. Uh, I'm going to do a, a kind of a free project. Um, that's not going to be going to my work desk, and it's not for my uh, men off the scorn army, but uh, it's just going to be fun. And then I think I'm going to. Uh, I, I need to make the rest of these. I have the ones that were made already painted. I just gotta make these up. Uh, I got a bag that was hidden. Of bases that need to be done so that's gonna be fun but uh, I'm thinking gonna before I finish on the if anything I'm gonna make the other ones and maybe paint them but uh, more than likely I think I'm gonna move on to the super dungeon Explorer project that has been sitting at my desk collecting dust unfortunately for the past year and a half two years so I need to stop being a slacker. It's been over a year, actually, because I stopped doing them when I had my ex-girlfriend, um, which pretty much took up a lot of my time. 
So that's why things have been slow to roll out, but I no longer have the girlfriend, so I get time to do this again. Well, I'm going to leave that here because it's already 15 minutes and you don't need to hear my rambles. Alrighty, have a great guy, guys, and, or, and happy war gaming.